How many legs does a shrimp have? Shrimp has so many legs. Vicious science. Today, let's do the shrimp anatomy. Instead of having no bones in the body, shrimp have exoskeleton outside the body. And it has a segmented body and a paired jointed appendage. This is a characteristic of arthropoda. So crustacea, which include shrimp, belongs to arthropods along with insects, spiders, and centipedes. Especially, insects and crustaceans have many similarities. To be honest, if you look closely, shrimp are as gross as insects. But why do people hate insects and like shrimp? In this video, let's take a very close look at the shrimp. First of all, if you look at the outside of the shrimp, there's a part you should be careful when you eat shrimp. It's the rostrum. People use the rostrum to distinguish shrimp species. The rostrum are sharper and harder than you think, so be careful. And this is the eyes. Like a crab's eyes, shrimp's eyes have a cornea at the end of the eye stalk. Crustaceans have insect-like compound eyes. And the part called the head of the shrimp is the cephalothorax. The part where the head and thorax are surrounded by the carapace. So most of the internal organs are inside here. The part that we usually eat is the abdomen part. How many legs does a shrimp have? Shrimps are classified as decapoda with 10 legs. But if you flip the shrimp over and observe it, it has more than 10 legs. Shrimps have a lot of appendages all over their bodies. Let's have a look at the appendages. First of all, there are four uropods at the tail. When shrimps feel danger, they fold and unfold their abdomen and swim quickly using their uropods. So, when a shrimp flutters on land, it is an act of escaping. And the abdomen is made up of six segments. The top five sections have a pair of appendages attached to it. These five pairs of appendages are called swimming legs. Shrimps swim by making a flow of water with their swimming legs and these legs are also used to incubate eggs or spread them. And on the thorax, you can see five pairs of walking legs. Shrimps are classified as decapids because they have 10 walking legs in the thorax. Crabs and lobsters are also decapods. And there are facts that most people don't know. Two or three pairs of shrimps walking legs are pincers. Isn't it cute? And on the upper part of the walking leg is the maxillipids, that control the food. There are two pairs of antenna around the eyes. They smell, touch, and do other things with two pairs of antenna. If you take out all of the shrimp appendages and make a line with them, that's so many. If you want to distinguish between male and female shrimp, you should look at the first swimming leg. If it is like any other swimming leg, it's a female. If there's an extra segment, it's a male. Simple, isn't it? Now, let's look inside the shrimp. First, if you look under the carapace of the cephalothrax, you can see the gills. Next, if you remove the carapace, this is what the inside of the cephalothrax looks like. This is the heart. The orange part under the heart is the hepatopancreas. Hepatopancreas is the digestive gland of arthropods that secretes digestive enzymes. There's a stomach at the top of the hepatopancreas. And the intestines lead to the shrimp's abdomen. If you cut the top of the abdomen and open it, you can see the intestines. The intestines are connected to the tip of the tail. The anus is located at the bottom of the tail. Lastly, if you look at the bottom, there's one line. This is the ventral nerve. If you carefully split it from the back, you can check the ventral nerve like this. Lastly, if you take the exoskeleton off the shrimp, and put it in hot water. It turns red like this. Pigment called the stazanthin in the exoskeleton of shrimp turns red when it is heated. 
That's why crustaceans turn red when they boil. This is the end of the shrimp anatomy. I gave the well-boiled shrimp to Sebastian. But he's not interested. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.